in 2008, the European Commission presented the Sustainable Consumption and Production Action Plan. It includes a series of proposals on sustainable consumption and production that will contribute to improving the environmental performance of products and increase the demand for more sustainable goods and production technologies. But how can we improve environmental performance of products and services? First of all, we need to measure it. In this lecture, we will see how to do this. In particular, the challenge is to improve the overall environmental performance of products and services throughout their life cycle, to boost the demand for better products and production technologies, and to help consumers to make informed choices. This is necessary to achieve the SDG 11, Sustainable Cities and Communities, and the SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. How can we quantify the environmental performance of products and technologies? Life cycle assessment, the acronym being LCA, is the best framework for assessing the potential environmental impacts of products and services currently available. Imagine that you are at the supermarket to buy some household batteries. It is better to buy disposable batteries or rechargeable batteries? An LCA study is able to give you a correct answer. Or imagine that you are the manager of a plant that produces bricks and you want to know how to reduce the environmental impacts associated with the entire supply chain. Again, you can perform an LCA to get the answer. The LCA addresses the potential environmental impacts throughout a product's life cycle, from raw material extraction and purification, through production, use and end-of-life treatment. This approach is called from cradle to grave, or also from cradle to cradle, when the end-of-life treatment is the recycling. LCA is in fact one of the methodologies that follows the life cycle thinking principle. This is the concept of expanding the traditional focus from the production side to incorporate all what happens before the production, for example, the extraction of resources, and all what happens after, for example, the distribution and use of a product. This approach allows to avoid the burden shifting. This means minimizing impacts at one stage of a life cycle or in a geographic region or in a particular impact category, while helping to avoid increases elsewhere. For example, saving energy during the use phase of a product while not increasing the amount of material needed to provide it. LCA is a standardized methodology. The standards are provided by the International Organization for Standardization in ISO 14040 and 14044 and describe the four main phases of an LCA, goal and scope definition, inventory analysis, impact assessment and interpretation. In the first step, goal and scope definition, the intended application and the reasons for carrying out the study are stated. Moreover, a precise description of the object of the study is given, together with the system boundaries and the functional unit. The functional unit quantifies the function of the system under study. Comparison between systems is possible only when they have the same function, quantified by the same functional unit. In the inventory analysis, the second step, data shall be collected for each unit process that is included within the system boundary. Data quantify material and energy consumption and production, the emission of pollutants to air, water and soil, and the waste generation. In the third step, impact assessment, you quantify the environmental impacts for the system under study by associating the inventory data with specific environmental impact categories and category indicators. Examples of impact categories are the climate change, the deflation of abiotic resources and the human toxicity. In the last step, phase number four, the results of LCA are summarized and discussed as a basis for conclusions, recommendations and decision making in accordance with the goals and scope definition. For example, the results of the LCA of disposable versus rechargeable batteries indicated that consumers should use rechargeable batteries at least for 50 times to enable a robust reduction of most of the calculated potential impacts. LCA can be applied at very different scales, for example, at product level for product development and improvement, for the integration of environmental aspects into product design, or for getting environmental labels and declarations. 
It can be used also at a larger scale, for example, to analyze the impacts associated with the waste management system implemented in a certain region. In this case, it is applied for strategic planning and public policy making. To summarize, the LCA is used to measure the environmental performance of products, services and also very complex systems, to give recommendations to reduce their environmental impacts. In this way, each of us, as students, professors, citizens, etc., can contribute to the achievement of sustainable cities and communities. Mm -hmm.